A German newspaper is offering new evidence that it see, says seems to point the finger at Syrian forces, but not necessarily the Syrian president. CNN's Fred Pleiken is with us now from CNN Berlin to talk more about this. And this is a fascinating development. It is a theory that has been around uh, in the last few days that perhaps Bashar al-Assad didn't know what his own forces were doing. Tell us about these claims. Yes, yeah, certainly there were rumors in the early stages that maybe this is something that was done by rogue elements uh, in the Syrian military. And this new uh, thing that has surfaced, as usual, when you're dealing with the murky world of intelligence is something that uh, involves very little in the, f in the face of hard factual evidence, but a lot of uh, things that are done by confidential sources. So this comes from the Bild am Sonntag newspaper here in Germany, which is usually quite well informed and does have a lot of sources in German intelligence, and they cite anonymous sources in German intelligence saying that the German uh, external intelligence service, the BND, picked up communications by the Assad's military, which seemed to indicate that high-level military commanders, divisional commanders uh, on the ground, had been lobbying Assad for several months, about four months, to use chemical weapons on the battlefield, and that Assad every single time had turned them down. Now, they came to the conclusion, apparently, it's not clear whether they actually have evidence of whether Assad turned it down this time, but their conclusion is they don't believe that Bashar al-Assad uh, actually gave the go-ahead for a chemical weapons attack on August 21st. That, of course, is something that this newspaper writes. There really uh, isn't very much additional evidence uh, that they've been giving, and I've been in touch with the German uh, intelligence so uh, services, uh, and they're saying at this point in time they're not going to comment on anything. They're not even com going to comment uh, on background, but certainly that is a new uh, development that is out there here uh, in Berlin today, and certainly one that is uh, quite significant if indeed there is truth behind it. However, of course, we do have to state again that all of these sources are on deep background uh, and, and it's really this one newspaper that's, that's reporting it without offering very much an additional information, Michael. Yeah, and if true, it would be significant on, on a couple of levels. First of all, it would give uh, Bashar al-Assad yeah. arm's length distance, but it would also demonstrate a remarkable breakdown in, in command and control, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, yeah, absolutely. And it's one of the things that, uh, that, that they talked about in the early stages after that alleged chemical weapons attack. When I was actually in Damascus, when it was talked about possibly it was Bashar al-Assad's younger brother who's in charge of the uh, elite fourth division of the Syrian military who might have done this on his own, Maher uh, al-Assad. There's other people who are saying that it might have been rogue commanders uh, who did this. It's really uh, impossible to tell. And there are certainly a lot of other people who say they cannot believe that an attack like this would have been carried out uh, by the military with out some sort of uh, go-ahead from the highest levels inside Syria, which of course would be the presidential palace. So it's very difficult to tell. Uh, these kinds of rumors have been around, this sort of uh, circumstantial information has been around for a while, but it certainly would signal uh, a severe breakdown in the command and control structure of the Syrian forces and indeed uh, of the president's power in Syria, if indeed that were the case, Michael. Yeah, yeah. keep an eye on it for us, Fred. Thanks so much, Frederick Pleiken there in Berlin.